Now a great way to revise and prepare for any exams coming up is to do multiple choice questions. The good thing about them is that you know if you're definitely right or wrong, you don't have to try and interpret a mark scheme. And I found out about this amazing website the other day. They actually contacted me and I thought that this is so impressive. I've got to make a video. I've got to share it with people. The website is called Past MCQs. It's completely free to use as a student. You just sign in with maybe a, a Google account of some kind and that means you can save your progress. There are other options for schools to purchase subscriptions and so on. But as a student, for those of you watching this video at the moment, it is completely free to use. Now you'll see it does say O levels, A levels and IGCSE. So this is meant for an international audience. So if you're doing Cambridge internationals, if you're doing IGCSEs or Edexcel international A levels, this is gonna be perfect for you. But also, if you're a student in the UK doing GCSEs or A-levels, the physics is exactly the same. And this is going to be so useful when it comes to some revision that you might be doing in preparation for exams. If we go to maybe the A-level section, we can go to physics. Um, and then what it'll do is it will upload a huge amount of questions going back many years. So they've got papers going all the way back to uh, 2003. And if you click on one of these, um, let's just take this one over here, for example, there are 40 questions. It gives you a timer in the top left. Um, how many cubic nanometers are in a cubic micrometer? Oh, that's, that's quite hard for me to work out in my head. So even though it might be a multiple choice question, don't just choose A, B, C or D. Get a bit of scrap paper, show you're working out, um, and then you can kind of choose if it's A, B, C or D. I'm going to go for C. Wow, got the correct answer. I'm pretty good at physics. So um, you can do uh, a whole exam paper which has mixed topics uh, that kind of come up. You can do similar questions. Uh, and what that then does, because they've tried to categorize the questions by like scalars and vectors or dimensions or forces, is that you can then do similar questions. So we've got now suggested practice exam for reasonable estimate and approximations. So we can start the exam gives me 17 questions, all about approximating or estimating values. So if you're struggling maybe with one particular topic, you can go here and just find multiple questions on that one topic. It also has it for GCSEs as well. Um, and I do think if you're revising and you want to find extra multiple choice questions, you should go to past MCQs. This isn't a sponsored post, it's just genuinely, genuinely something that I think is super impressive. And in the future, I'd like to find ways to maybe integrate it more into GCSE physics online or A-level physics online. I think it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, I would say, of course, if you are doing a multiple choice question, don't forget the basics. When you're working out your answer, draw a diagram. Think about writing down the equation, doing the full calculation, and then using that information to then have a look at the answers which have been given. So there's no particular hint or trip, uh, hint or tip at doing multiple choice questions. Just approach it like any other physics questions. And even if you have lots and lots of longer answer written exam questions coming up, practicing multiple choice questions will still help develop your skills and your understanding of physics. So yeah, it's worth having a look at today. Head over to pastmcqs.com.